So, guess what? I just got five Quicksilver cards. Here we go. What's up guys, it's Jay and welcome to Flashpoint. We're all about credit, credit cards, and other finance tips. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Also give this video a thumbs up, it really does help me out. And comment down below with your thoughts on this video. Also comment down below if you have the card. I really appreciate it. And guys, don't forget about my $100 American Airlines gift card giveaway for once I hit 1,000 subscribers. So if you're new to the channel, all you have to do is just be subscribed like the videos, participate in the comment section, and that will enter you into the giveaway. So recently I received an email from Capital One, okay? And uh, I don't really advertise this as often on my channel. I might do it on a live stream here and there, but my very first card that I ever applied for was the Capital One Platinum MasterCard. And that was whenever I was trying to recover my credit. Uh, I had my identity stolen and it took about three years to try to fix my credit. I did it all on my own. But uh, once I was able to, you know, uh, rehab my credit, I was able to get it to around 630 and then I was able to apply for a credit card or at least I got myself into a position where I felt comfortable applying for a credit card. And you know, uh, at that time they were offering me secured cards and I just didn't feel like I should have to, you know, put a deposit down for a credit card. I know other people might be in a different uh, scenario than I was in because I was actually able to pay my cards on time and keep low balances. So um, I waited for a little while and Finally, at some point, I was finally offered a non-secured version of the Capital One Platinum MasterCard. And so that's how I started recouping my credit, started you know, making on-time payments. If you don't know much about Capital One, they do report to all three credit bureaus, which are you know, Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion. And uh, you know, I, I had the card for a little while. Once I finally started getting into points and miles, uh, I literally just stopped using the card. Now I might put some gum once a month on the card uh, just to keep more positive payments adding to my credit profile, but that's about it. Like I would just put my account on auto pay so that way I didn't have to worry about it. And so, you know, gum, something like gum is about a dollar fifty, something like that, just depending on what kind of gum you get, you know. Um, and so basically I received an email from them, you know, uh, last week and they were offering to upgrade my card to something that would earn rewards because I'm assuming they want to entice me to uh, use the card more. Um, you know, they think if I'm going to be earning rewards, then I'm going to, you know, definitely use the card more. So I went ahead and agreed to it, uh, to the terms and basically it, it's the non-annual fee version of the Quicksilver card. So there is one that is a $39 annual fee and if you're really trying to earn rewards, I would suggest for a cashback card you do not apply for the $39 annual fee Quicksilver card. You're going to be stuck paying $39 every year for a card that you really get only cash back for. So uh, that's just my opinion. I'm just kind of trying to give you guys different scenarios. So uh, I got my card in and what ended up happening is I have four authorized users on that account and they're family members. So, you know, uh, you know, that was just to help them boost their credit scores as well. And so what ended up happening is, you know, once I upgraded my account, they upgraded all the cards. So the one thing that made me feel comfortable with upgrading this card was that for one, I wasn't going to have to take an inquiry for two, my card number was not going to change and it hadn't been compromised. So I'm okay with that. And then three, it wasn't going to have any impact on my credit score uh, or on my credit profile. So that was the other reason. And obviously for the points, the potential points that I would get. Um, now, if you're not familiar with this card, uh, you know, I still have the stickers on it. So this is what the card looks like. And basically, you know, for all the other cards as well, you know, whatever, they're all right here. Um, 
but this is what the card looks like and it has the numbers on the back it's a master card uh, it's plastic just letting you guys know it does look like a little metal finish but it's not metal just to let you guys know so I would compare this card to you know one of the uh, Chase Unlimited cards like the Freedom Unlimited and the Ink Unlimited. So this is going to be a 1.5% cashback earning card. So basically for every dollar you spend, you're going to get 1.5% cashback on every dollar you spend. Now, I don't always recommend Capital One, but if you're trying to recoup your credit or if you're just trying to establish credit, then Capital One does report to all three credit bureaus. So that's the way to get all three credit scores boosted um, over the course of time. Uh, once you've been making on-time payments because it's going to report to all three credit bureaus now I Think this card is okay. There are other better cashback cards in my opinion like for instance the chase uh, cashback cards are among the best I think because you have the ability to eventually transfer those points or transfer that cash back into points later on uh, now Would I recommend this card to the you know average consumer who is just wanting to get a little bit of something sure now what do i think about capital one i mean they're eh so so but you know it was my first choice um credit card to get um just because i i needed something to help me uh pick up my credit after it had gone down after someone stole my identity so uh, you know they they've been pretty good to me I haven't had any issues with them now I know most of you may be a little apprehensive to apply for a capital one card especially now after that data breach happened but you know in the grand scheme of things that can happen almost anywhere and so uh, you know that person was caught whatever it may be and I'm sure it forced capital one to actually have to ramp up their securities uh, in their systems so uh, you know that's something to kind of be to feel a little reassured about is that you know uh, they're going to identify the problem and hopefully address it uh, in a timely manner so uh, yeah but there are other better cashback cards in my opinion and if you're just starting out the you know Quicksilver card is not a bad option now, like I said, this is the non-annual fee version because there is a $39 annual fee version. I do not recommend that card whatsoever because it is just cash back. So there are other cards like the 5% cards, like you could get the Ducks Unlimited, you could get the Freedom card. You could also get the Discover It card, which offer 5% uh, percent rotating categories, just like the Freedom card. Now, you know, I just wanted to give you guys, you know, a heads up. I, you know, upgraded my card to, uh, you know, a Quicksilver card. I wouldn't have applied for it anyways. Um, so, you know, this is kind of a bonus for me that all the cards that I have are points earning cards or at least some type of rewards earning card. So that's a cool thing. So yeah, guys, so Quicksilver, here it is. Uh, will I use it? not necessarily sure if i will if this is going to entice me to use it as often you know just because it's 1.5 percent cash back um you know if i were able to turn these into like venture miles or something like this something like that at some point then possibly i would use it but uh, I don't I don't really necessarily see myself using the card as much as I do now which is once a month on a pack of gum just so I can get those positive payments reported to all three credit bureaus so basically that's all I wanted to bore you guys with so I appreciate you guys for stopping by if you would like to support the channel feel free to use any of the links down below uh, if you'd like to make a donation to the channel you can use the support this channel link um, that says Streamlabs on it and that is the easiest way to make a donation to the channel to allow me to uh, create better content. So I appreciate you guys and that'll conclude today's video guys. For more video updates, hit that subscribe button. If you found this information to be helpful, give this video a thumbs up, really appreciate it. Share it with your friends, drop a comment down below to let me know what you think about the Quicksilver card. Would you get it? Do you have it? What do you think about it? I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit the bell notification down in the bottom left corner so that way you guys can stay up to date for whenever I drop my next video. Be a good person, be safe, be smart smart be smart and remember credit is your life and i will see you guys in the next one peace peace